Welcome in, everybody. It's the 63rd episode. Woo! That's a long... That's, it seems like... It goes by so fast. So yeah. we're basically professionals now. But yeah, I think once we get to 100. Okay. No, 69. 69? 69? Yeah, uh, number 69. So we'll be all sexual to start Pound, the show. Pound P's favorite number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 63rd episode of Say It Out Sports. I am your host, Pat Graham. Pete and Bob are back with me today. What a weekend. Yes. It was a sad weekend. And wild. And a good weekend. It was good. Depend. I mean, like, uh, like nah, depends for, on, yeah. for me, I'm going. I'm rooting for Connor. I'm yeah. rooting for Brady. So it started off sad, ended good. Yeah, I think we both were kind of on that. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't have I any more disappointment Sunday. There's yeah. no way. Um. So we got. We're gonna talk about both the AFC and NFC title games. I'm gonna defend Aaron Rodgers. I am not. Not in his play, but his post game interview. Oh, okay. I didn't watch the initial interview. But I watched it today after I seen online everybody just going bananas. Be like Aaron Rodgers is blaming everybody and no, nah, he didn't blame anybody. I rewatched it. Today. I I didn't rewatch it. I watched it today and I don't see that roar. He didn't say anything wrong. I'll get to that. I thought for sure he was going to throw the floor under the bus. And then you and then didn't. we got the UFC two fifty seven fallout. And then we got some listener questions that were submitted. So, um, let's get into the Tampa Bay Green Bay game. What's your thought? Instead of going all over the place, what's your thought on Tampa Bay first? And I don't. Oh, okay. Want to start. My thought on Tampa Bay is I thought Tampa's defense played a great second half, and in the, like they played a great first half, but they played an even better second half. They literally took when Tom Brady turned it over, two out of the three Tampa forced three and outs. Like I won't, I'm not giving this win to Tom. I don't think Tom went out and won the game. I think the defense won the football game and the D line especially. They got after Aaron Rodgers. They just he he had zero time. He was pressured like 32 out of 35 dropbacks. It was it was hard for him. Like, pretty easy when they throw the ball the whole entire game. Yeah, yeah 48 attempts yeah. for Rodgers. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. You can't go out and expect a win like that, in my opinion, against that that defense. You got to get Aaron Jones at some point going, right? right? And that's the most surprising. Like he ran the ball great all throughout the year. And they and didn't then, even, yeah. What do you have? Eight. Carries? Well, he got hurt. What the first, was it? Did he fumble at the first play of the third quarter? Or was he already out? Aaron, no, he fumbled the first one, and they got it back. I think Robert Tunyon fell on it or something. The very first play of the third quarter is that when he was he the one that fumbled or was it he fumbled know? twice? They got one. Yeah, that back. was when he was out. The very first play of the third quarter when that on the or very first drive. They passed it to him and he fumbled it and then Brady scored on the next play. Yeah, that from that point on he was out. He so, didn't play again. Uh, he was out the rest of the game. Was he hurt or they just sat him? I mean, even to that point, he only had six carries. I mean, he right. went first half he had yeah. four carries. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, combined. he's been a monster all year yeah. long. Even yeah, in the pa- even in the passing game, he had four catches for seven yards. I mean, they limited yeah. very well. That's do yeah. the safety for the Bucks. Whitehead he got hurt in that game. Yeah, but he forced both fumbles. He was all over the place. He was playing lights out. Then yeah. he, he, I mean, he gets hurt, and he's well. You mentioned the done. front four: J- Jason Pierre-Paul, Shaq Barrett, and Dominica Sue, and then even Vita. They got Vita Vea back, yeah. which was massive. They, Dude, JPP was playing great. Football. He was everywhere. He was all over. They had Rogers. five sacks combined. That's a big. Obviously, a lot of people are not a lot of people. A lot of idiots are online saying Brady's a go- I mean, Brady's a goat, but Obviously, they're yeah. not giving the defense the credit. Yeah, yeah, this, right. this, this win goes on the defense. I thought they were the reason they won the football game. JPP came out looking like a firework, huh? Dude, yeah. him and Shaq Nasty. Barrett were literally, they hiked the ball and they're a yard deep in the backfield. Oh, that one jump, the oh, perfect jump. He dude, was, he timed it perfect. Yeah. That turned right and was in Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> yeah, Brady can't. Brady can't play like this. The problem. Yeah, so here's the, the thing Bowl. with those he turnovers. He can't turn it over three no. times against Kansas City. I don't know. Anyway. So the, that's where I kind of discourage everybody's and, and a lot of sentiment is going against Brady. Is play terrible. He lot he shit the bed because yeah. he threw three picks. I think two of so them. So two of him. them were punts. Yeah, two of them were yeah. punts. They were down. Yeah, it was third down. He was or taking second chances down. downfield. Yeah, that's we, the we ri- talked about that, the yeah. no risk and no biscuit type mentality. Right. He's throwing it up. Evans dropped one. Next play was picked. Right. So, but I mean, yeah, they weren't bad. Instead of taking sack, the one to Evans that he overthrew and hit his hands, it that was one's bad. That was a bad. He yeah. you knew he knew it was bad too because if you go watch the replay, his reaction as soon as he let it go, he knew it was high. Yeah, he the, wanted it. Bad. Yeah, that throw, that turnover is bad because it was they were up five. They're in field goal range. They're driving. No, that's in, that's eight point game. That's a lot a, of difference yeah. between up five and up eight because obviously you can't lose at that point. Yeah, that took three points. That off the was board. bad. 
The other two were punts. Basically. I don't mind. Every interception is not the same. I like the risk taking. He, d- he like did him. that all game. Yeah. So remember the second drive. I love second and longer throwing it 30 yards downfield. No, you remember They're the second? It was drive two. Well, going back to the opening drive, Brady was three for three on third down, 57 yards and a touchdown. Absolutely. Everybody yeah. must have came forgot that. Right. Right. Came, out. Came, right. out. Just came out. Came out on fire. Out hot. Took Couldn't the lead. be any better. Took the lead. And obviously the second half was crazy. But the two picks, um, back in the second quarter when the, when the Packers tied the game at seven. Yeah. On that third down, it was second or third down, he threw that bomb to um, Godwin God, over the right. middle. Yeah. Oh, they caught it. That yeah. was the same type of throw that the picks happened on. Right. Nobody's saying anything because no. he's taking a chance. That would have been a punt. Right. Godwin came up with it, and that flipped it again 14-7. Right. right. Or 10-7. Four, I think they, they got, got a field, 14-10, right? I think they got, a, they got a field goal. No, they got a touchdown on it, right? It was 14-7 it was and then 14 10. So, I mean, if you're going to say it was a bad throw by Brady to Mike Evans when he laid up a jump ball, He's that putting, Godwin's he's just up, as bad. He's putting up 50-50 balls. He's trusting his – yeah. He's putting yeah. up 50-50 balls. And if it is picked off, it's, it's a, a punt. punt. So it's the punt. only bad one – the biggest – now to the – The uh, one that was in – that were, they were there in field goal range. That was – That one's Yeah, it was that high. That one sucks. That one's high. That was a bad throw. It worked out at the end. And then, obviously, Ryan suck up. No one's talking about this. That 46-yard <laughs> field goal at the end. Dude, ice in that kid's Clutch. Yeah. In Lambeau. It's cold. Cold. This is a if you miss this kick, Rodgers has it at the, the forty. Momentum too. He's got the momentum and, too, and he's only he's within five. He makes it, then all the pressure's off. Right, dude. Also, the, up eight. Also, Tampa's when they so when the Packers scored, Tampa got the ball back in the fourth quarter. I want to say it was like six minute mark somewhere in there, and Tampa got a they got the ball back, and they almost went three and out. They got the third and nine. And they're literally that throw to Tyler Johnson. Oh my god! Yeah. People the don't dart? realize how big yeah. of a throw that is. Yeah, it takes like, up an extra two, three minutes. It takes up an extra. But I mean, if they go three and out right there in that spot, and literally Rodgers goes right back on the field, and all the momentum's Green Bay, that's bad. Yeah. That's a bad spot yeah. for Tampa. That did third you, and nine is huge. Did you see Gronk on his on his <clears throat> catch? Did you hear when he him? Went thirty? Did you hear him <laughs> with the screen pass? Did you hear him though? No, live? what I was watching. No, do you know how he always yells in practice? They yeah. have all those clips. Yeah, he was running down the field, going "Woo!" Why he was running? <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> like, on the thirty yard pick. I heard it on the telecast, and I was like, "This after Dude, he just, broke, like he was like fifteen yards animal. into it. He was fifteen yards into it, and he's like, he's celebrating because he picked up the first he's, down no, already. He's still running, he's screaming because he knows like that was a huge, huge pickup. No, that put him in field goal range. What a play call by Bruce Arians right there. Oh, massive. Gronk, that dude, was his only catch, I thought, I I, dude, and I like to see that Gronk still got a little bit of speed. He was like giggling. He's got a little bit of speed left because he started accelerating. I thought he was getting absolutely yeah. chased down right there for the, and it was going to be fourth down. Yeah, he's been that into that took 40 off, time he from the picked, beginning of the year. He picked up like 30. He was, he was just giggling all the way down the field. I love yeah, it. Especially after he crossed that first down mark. He's giggling. People can not tackle him. 29-yard gain. Glad field goal range. Then suck up hits the forty six yarder. I'm glad to see him and Brady have kept the video, the Bad Boys for Life video alive. Uh, yeah. uh, I thought it was gone. Each. No, they're back, yeah, baby. Posted yeah. that up. I was like, NFC champs. I love it. All right, now on to Green Bay though. Obviously, the biggest turnover of the game. Well, I think the biggest. Obviously, the one out of third quarter is bad. Yeah, because it's a one. You turn it over on three plays into the second half, and it's now the deficit is larger. But Rodgers' interception was the biggest interception of the game. People are going to be like, oh, it's pass interference. Remember, right before yeah. 30 seconds left in the half, it's 14-10. You're driving to get in field goal range, and you throw a pick at your 48. And then, ob- swing. then obviously the f- fucking defense. <laughs> the right. defense shouldn't allow a 40-yard touchdown pass to Scotty Miller with you can't no, let, time yeah, no, no time left. Nobody behind you. Right. That was on the defense. But that turnover, I mean, that leads to the opportunity. What a play by Scotty Miller, though. Well, no, fourth and four. They were going to punt. I was freaking out. I was like, "There's four. There's like <laughs> no, ten seconds. Not, what are you doing? Punt. They're not punting there." No, that Tom Brady like went to the sideline. There, he's like, "Can we go for this?" <laughs> yeah, why not? Right. What are you? What are you and gonna, then he does so then, dude. He throws dimes. Brady throws dimes like timely dimes. They protect him. Twenty years of because uh, his picks were also unbelievable. Like, just 20, pressured. Twenty yeah. seasons of of you know. I mean. But when Practice. he's got all day back there, it's, beautiful. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing to watch. That guy throws dimes. Roger, Scotty Miller, dude. Rogers throws a better ball. Antonio so. Brown's not going to play. And yeah, but it Scotty just looks Miller. prettier coming from the GOAT. I don't know. Rogers throws some Rogers throws some dimes. Perfect balls. I'm going to defend Aaron Rodgers in a minute. All right. But, yeah, so you can't defend the play that happened. So was, they were one for seven targeting Devonta Adams in the red zone. Yeah. He locks onto him and doesn't see anything else, I guess. It's a problem. They had first and goal from the six. And first and goal from the eight, 
both times settled for field goals. The last one, obviously, was the big story. Matt LaFleur kicking a field goal. Doesn't make sense anyway. So no. Why? This I mean, is, we're going to go back to this over and over. Everybody's ripping on Let's him. go back to talking about the th- gets locked in on Devontae Adams. He does, and that basically takes away half the field. I mean, everybody, it's worked for him all the it, way to, up to this point. But, I mean, I feel like Tampa knew wherever he lined up, the other half of the field they didn't have to worry about. I, they really focused him on the red zone, though. Yeah. If you watch Tampa, like the – Oh, and Devontae Asking on the red zone, Aaron Rodgers in, was just locked in. When he went in motion, they, they were switching all the way through. It didn't happen like Jalen Ramsey last week when he's no. like, switch, switch. I'm switch, actually no, really no, no, surprised no, no, no. you said were you're coming. okay with a field goal because you're a pretty aggressive coach, and you Me? always no, like I'm, to go no, for it. Yeah. No, neither oh, of us I'm, are okay with a field goal. That's a, the, the dumbest decision there is. No, I'm go- uh, down eight right there? No, yeah. I'm not going. There's no way. The field goal doesn't help. You're still down a touchdown. The, yeah, no. So you're, you have to go you're for kicking it. the field goal? No, no. I'm going for it. Oh, okay. no, absolutely not. Yeah, I thought you were saying the other way around. I was like, no. I thought Aaron Rodgers should have tried to run it on third down when he – No, that – People will I think say that. that. Yeah. I think if he gets the, I don't think he got gets in. Say he's down at the one though. That right. changes the fourth down decision to me. I think at that we point they burn know. a timeout. At that and point they go for it on fourth down. Right. At that point, we nobody don't know. knows now. I don't know. Matt Lafleur might have had his ideas already picked. He, I think he was kicking. Yeah, no even if what. he makes it to the two, three. Yard I think he line, let Aaron Rodgers call the third. Everything. I think he let Aaron Rodgers call the third down play because he had already decided to kick it on fourth down. Yeah, but you got to let him yeah. know that. Which that's what I'll get to. In, uh, with defending his Roger, but really the sacks, the de- Tampa Bay defense was the reason they won the game. Absolutely, the D line, the timely, the, the timely three and outs they got off the turnovers is huge. The timely three and outs is massive because they had two, like you said, two times right. three and out. So we'll, they'll need a couple of those probably with Mahomes. They need a couple stops with Mahomes, which we'll get to next week. Roger, okay, so this is my Rogers post game conference. Everybody's freaking out. There's no reason to be. No, he, out. he didn't say anything didn't, outrageous. So he, 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 everybody took the uh, everybody's job, you know, like is in jeopardy or even mine. People take that the wrong way. This is the NFL. Anything happens is a business. Aaron Rodgers doesn't make a lot of money next year. Well, think season. about this. You go to an NFC title game, everybody's saying you're the favorite. You got home field. You have all the weapons. Your defense yeah. is healthy. You're, you're 13 playing to grow. three. You've won in four. And then you lose. How pissed off and angry and defeated right. and gut. He said multiple times he's gutted. Yeah. Like you're not in a good spot yeah, after upset. that game. He's upset. But he showed up to the conference. The reporters are asking you questions. He answered them. I don't, he didn't, th- I don't, I don't think, think he, he said anything I, he wrong. He didn't elaborate anything crazy. They said, they said uh, what did you think about the decision? Shitty decision. If I was me, I'm, I'm go- like, uh, awful decision. I, I did, that's said, my thing. was it my choice. I thought. I would have yeah. been like, it was the dumbest decision I, he made. I, I would have thrown everybody right. out. Dude, I got online. Classy. And I said, I can't wait to see Aaron Rodgers throw the floor under the bus right now when they ask him about the field goal. And he didn't. I thought for sure he was going to throw yeah. him under the bus. Like it wasn't up to me. It was. I would. He said it I wasn't up to me. He said it wasn't. Ended. But I thought he would go into detail. Like if it was up to me, we would right. have went for right, it. Right. I wanted to go for it. Yeah. They already wanted to kick it. Like I thought he was going to throw him under the bus, but he didn't. To stay, he, I thought he stayed cool before the game. He said I was, the decision was made, and we move forward. Before the game, I was ripping. I th- I picked the Bucks. We all. I mean, we all did. We all yeah. did. But I I reference Rogers' mindset in these big games, like when they fall behind, it's not a good thing. It's never his no. his, uh, his body language on the field when a receiver drops the ball. He didn't he, show any of that this really game, or this during this game. I didn't see anything. That a lot was of like, the, you're right. A lot of times his body language deflates his own receivers. Like, like what what are you doing? Ripping them? Yeah. Like on on the field, it doesn't go over him on the sideline. Like Brady will go over to you and rip into you. Really Rogers idiot. shows it like visually on the field, like second down and four, and you he, drop the ball. He's he freaking sho- out. He yeah. shows you he's disappointed in you. Yeah. I think it breaks receivers too. They they just kind of a little bit, but <clears> yeah. So. Anyway, back to the conference. Like he didn't. The reporter straight up asked him, "Did you agree?" And he said, "It wasn't my my decision." Was, I would have. He looked. I would have went off and been like, guys. "That's a terrible decision." Secondly, to me, they got to burn a timeout and at least talk about it. No, he already made up his mind. Anyway, I know. That's why. Secondly, think the decision he, was made. he they asked him about the struggles. He gave credit to Tampa's defense. Said they had a good game plan. Yeah. Then it'd be like, it "Was our?" I mean, that's whatever. He didn't blame Lazard. They asked him about Lazard on that on one of the red zone passes. He threw it, and Lazard cut a slant instead of keeping it up. Yeah, he said, "I don't blame him. It was just bad. I thought he was going to do this. He did this. No blame there. We're on the same page." Right. He wasn't. He wasn't like, "Yeah, he was supposed to do this, and I threw it here, and he made the wrong move." He just said, "I thought he was going to do this. I don't blame him." Yeah, just all this stuff. Like, I don't see what he said. It was they said was the PI call warranted at the end of the game. He said he thought it was a bad call. I mean, you put a, a freeze frame in it. 
the jersey's stretched out like two and a half yards ago. He's yeah. holding him clearly. I get they the, let a lot of things go. That's my thing. Is they yeah. it, during the game? I get why. I mean, Packer fans are gonna freak out no matter what. Yeah, right. I mean, because it wasn't as bad as the Saints Rams last year. No, 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 not even. Not even Full laid them out. They let those dudes play all right. game. There, there was hand fighting. There was hand checking. There was holding coming out of routes. They yeah. let it all go from yeah. both sides all night long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The whole but time. to me, when the game is on the line, it can't be a no call. You got to you got to nah. make the call there, and it's blatant, dude. His jersey is three feet behind. I, yeah, but I then, thought it was uncatchable. Then it goes back to the referees deciding the game, right? And then everybody's pissed off because the referees decided the game. Either way, the only reason they're way, deciding a, don't let the referees decide the game. No, right. don't make the so, penalty. Right, so you can't be upset about no. Either calling. way, because if they right. don't call it and Packers get the ball and right. win, Kevin King Bucks can't, fans are going right. to say that was a oh, fucking right. pi. Kevin, yeah. so Kevin, if they let it go the whole game, blah 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 blah. King so can't come into the post game and be like, "Oh, they let me hold all night long, and then they don't right. let me hold on the final play." Right. Bro, it's holding. They're going to call it. Then on the pi on the pi and Rodgers, everybody's like, "Oh, that was pass interference. Eh, that was ticky. Eh. T- if it was, it was ticky tack. Yeah, because it was tight yeah. coverage. It's not Dude, like they let he didn't dudes turn them play all night. Anyway, long. Right. so he said it was thought it was a bad call. Well, okay, I would say the same thing. I'd be like, "Yeah, he decided the game. So expected. The only thing he said was crazy was the uncertain future. But I mean, that was just kind of maybe. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's right. angry. It's a business. you ask him a question after losing that's an honest title though. game. It's an honor. Like, well, no, well, it's the NFL. Nobody's job is guaranteed. Right. right. It's a freaking there, there is nobody. It's and business. also, Aaron Rodgers already came out and said basically he wants a raise. He's only making twenty three point two million dollars next year. Pay the man. He's he's going to win an MVP. So this dude is making less money than every like literally he's seventh on the list of quarterbacks next season. Yeah. He got a lot of money up front, but he only makes twenty three point two million dollars next year. Aaron Rodgers should be making forty 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 five. Right. If Pastor Mahomes is making 50, Rodgers, you got to be the next guy. All right, here's, there. Let's get to our first listener question because it's on this topic. Why can't Aaron Rodgers win the NFC title game? Why is he struggling so bad in these big games? Honestly, this one I, is, uh, is on the floor more than it's on Rodgers. It's on the O-line more than it's on Rodgers. I don't think it's a problem that he can't win it. I think it's a problem when they get there, they're not the best team. Even if they were yes. favorited yesterday, they're not the best team. The it's Bucks close. were the better team. They're both the three. The three point spread was because they're home. Exactly. On a neutral right. field, they're the same team. Right. They're good. I just thought the right. Bucks were a better football team. The mistakes the Packers made yesterday were bigger than the mistakes the Bucks made, and that's the bottom line. Yep. They're about equal yeah, in I talent, know. I think. When, when, when the opportunities, the board, when right. the opportunities presented themselves, the Packers didn't. Like oh, I mean, didn't, Antonio didn't Brown was out. Ronald Jones wasn't healthy. The Bucks weren't full strength either. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. so I think. Talent wise, yeah, they I think they're about two, the same thing. They didn't play with their literally I mean, their best who, rookie. Who has he played in these uh, NFC? He's lost to Russell Wilson, who threw four interceptions. Lost to Russ, Russ Wilson. Yeah, uh, but the bigger thing you play against that was when Seattle had the best boom Legion of Boom Legion of Boom. Right. Then you played San Francisco, who had a lights out defense. Exactly. Yeah. Willis. And then you play Tampa, who's got now the goat transfer yeah. from the AFC. Like he's not. And they had a good D. With a and solid D. D. And in the Seattle game. He had a, a twelve point lead with two thirty with two minutes and thirty seconds left, and they lost in overtime. Russell Wilson scored a touchdown with two thirty left. Onside kick. Onside kick got the onside kick. There Russell Wilson drives down, scores another touchdown. Rodgers gets the ball back down three, drives him down, kicks a field goal, goes to overtime. Doesn't get the ball. Doesn't get the ball in overtime, and Russell yeah. Wilson wins the game. So, so it's not really why can't they Aaron Rodgers win it? They wasted opportunities. There. They just played better football teams. So look at this. Yes. Better right. football team. Since right. 2010. Th- the only team that wasn't better was Caleb Haney. Caleb Haney. And he won, that's the game he, he won. He won that game. He yeah. was a third-string quarterback. Yeah. Caleb Haney was a high school head coach to start that NFL season. So um, since 2010, here's the NFC title game winners. Russ Wilson has two. There we go. Rodgers won. Eli won. Kaepernick won. Cam Newton won. Matt Ryan won. Nick Foles won. Garoppolo won. Brady won. Goff won. Bree zero, by the way. Oof. Just throwing that in there. Oof. Since 2010. Obviously, he had the one. I think he won in 2009. Got a Super Bowl. I think Breeze. That's since, that, that's since 2010. There's Breeze, been, Breeze uh, and Rodgers combined have 35 seasons in the NFC. They both have a one NFC title win. So oh, Brady's go, been there one year, and he's got one. So then you go <laughs> AFC is a little different, obviously. Brady has five, Mahomes two, Big Ben one, Peyton Manning two, Flacco one. So in Brady's since two, five in 10 years? <laughs> six, because it's five in the oh, AFC. Yeah. 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 So you got twenty two quarterbacks have won one. I mean Brady, Russ, Mahomes. Brady has five, six. 
and Russ Mahomes and Manning are the only people have two, and the rest have one. Breeze has zero. So, I mean, it's not, it's a parody league. Like, it's a yeah. team, this shows it's a team sport. You can't just go by yourself. Not, especially Unless your name's Tom Brady. Well, I mean, two he's seasons. had good teams the whole time, but he provides the leadership a bit. Like he elevates everybody. Yeah, Tom Brady makes every, dude, he's he makes he, That's why he's the goat. I just right. laid that out. Like his, his, leader, his leadership. This is, is how this is how good Tom is, bro. Since he's got to Tampa, the Rays have played in the World Series. The Lightning played in the NHL. Stanley Cup game. What the hell does that <laughs> have to do with Tom Brady? Tom Brady comes he over and makes the, the whole Bay city. Race? Makes the whole city. It's a it, everybody sure, in the city pretty expects sure to the win. Boston Celtics won a title. Uh, uh, Boston Bruins have won oh, a title. Oh lord, you guys! Tom Brady elevates rails. an entire city, bro. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just saying, he gets Rogers there and every, every owner's like, we're winning. And this goes yeah. to my NBA like goat topic. Obviously, Kobe, LeBron, Jordan. I think LeBron's a goat personally. That's mine. He's been there. T- he's been in the damn title game ten f- times. Like Brady's been. This is his tenth Super Bowl. In twenty, seasons. yeah, but that's a different. It's a that's different. But I'm totally saying, different. like, would you rather if you're would, would you rather have Aaron Rodgers and be in the NFC title game five times and, and get your heart broken, or just be in the, in the on, Super Bowl every year? These do. Would you want draft picks? What do you want? No. You, I want to be in the. Oh, if I'm in the NFC title game every year, I'm happy. Like when the 49ers yeah. were lose since. Shit. It's, I'm heart, a Niner it's fan. heartbreaking right. to go one and four. They are happy to be there every time. The Niners have yeah. lost two Super Bowls. One with Kaepernick to the Ravens, one with Garoppolo last year, the Chiefs, and they've lost heartbreakers in the NFC title games two other years to the yeah. Giants on the muffed punt. Right. Yeah. The Saints. I'm I'm way happier as a fan being there. Being in those final two games. The weekends are great. It's fun. It sucks for a day or two <laughs> yeah, after they, they lose. They lose, you don't come out like, oh, she would have never got there. Yeah, I wish we would have right. been. Yeah. Like, Nobody does. This that. year, I was already accepting the fact we're not even making the playoffs after week eight. The future is bright. Whatever. The future is bright. I'm for excited. San but I'm just saying, Rodgers is. You pay the man. If they let him walk, I'll open him with open arms in San Francisco. There's That's no Super Bowl. way. There's no way they can let him leave. That's Super Bowl. I think every bring him to Frisco. Every baby. fan, has of, a, has every a, NFL team would welcome Aaron Rodgers. As I'm just a saying, they're talking has team, crazy. Has a team ever lost? As it, or has a quarterback ever won an MVP and then no, been no, on no. another team doubt, the next doubtful. season? There's no way he's leaving. Green Bay would be absolutely ridiculous. What if Green Bay don't want to pay him a raise, so they know. trade him to Houston? They did draft a quarterback. There's no way if they do this, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. They would regret it. I'm for saying a they decade. did draft you a quarterback. Can't upgrade at the position unless you're trading for Tom Brady. Obviously, no, you can't. Period. Because Brady has one, two years left. Well, maybe seven, but must be you, real. You know Tom Brady I'm taking, probably plays another seven. Dude. You're, stop. <laughs> stop. You're taking it. Aaron Rodgers over Brady at this point. Well, Brady's, Brady's runs a faster forty now seven. than he did as a rookie. All right. But anyway, whatever. I don't know the reason, but I'm telling loose. you. Tom Brady um, re-signing with the Tampa Bay. The for only reason people fourteenth Super Bowl. The only reason people are mad at Rodgers for losing NFC title games is because of Tom Brady. It's heartbreak. No, it's Tom Brady's a dr- and Mahomes now. Yeah, yeah. Which let's get to that right now. Kansas City and uh, Buffalo. What do you? What do Buffalo you got? just dude. This is my thing with Buffalo. <clears throat> you have Josh Allen, and Josh Allen is a great quarterback. I think he proved it to everybody. He can play the game. He can he can win you games. Right. But the Bills did not use Josh Allen for what he can do in a game. That dude's best attribute is extending plays and running the football. He had 88 rushing yards. I know. He had, he had 70 of them in the second half. Yeah. But in the first half, he had two rush attempts. That's, how, that's why they couldn't throw the ball. That's why. You have to use him for what he's good right. at. Let him put yeah, this iron run plays. No, I agree. Get when him they were there, losing, let him run the ball. He wasn't using his legs. No. The, they didn't all even. Year. You have to. They're designed run plays. We saw them all season for Josh Allen, and they didn't use right. it. They went out there, and they just tried to throw the football and throw the football, and it didn't, they couldn't throw it. He had like 30 passing yards in the first quarter, and he had one rush attempt. Well, they had the first. I mean, you can, you can break it down like that, but they had the muff punt, yeah. so it was a two-yard touchdown. I get that. Like a short field, whatever. 9-0. But – Still, they didn't use him yeah. how they used him all season. You get here, and then you change what you do that got you here? It just didn't make sense to me. I don't know. I just I thought they should have used Josh Allen and ran him more design run plays or or rollouts out of the shotgun, like getting him yeah. out of the pocket. He didn't move yeah. very much. Nothing. strange. Yeah. If he does, Kansas City's going to be scrambling out there. I don't know about that, but they got to put somebody to come get them. They did you see their their deep their second Kansas City secondary was like in lockdown mode. 
because Diggs was nobody was open though. Because Josh Allen Even, was just throwing the ball. I'm nobody saying, had to come down the field to to get him when he ran for twenty. Well, they were blitzing too. They were covering him with Diggs was Diggs had nothing in the first half. Right. He wasn't open though. They showed like the they zoomed out. Nobody's open. Like they had so, no choice. So he's got to use his legs. And yeah, but no, they it. were sending five, six guys sometimes. He couldn't. He, the, it was wild. I just, it, I, I was impressed like, with I Kansas like, City. I thought their defensive plan was their defensive great, plan but I didn't think Buffalo's up. offensive plan was very good. Yeah, the, I was surprised by Buffalo's hot start. I was Paul pumped after the nine zero. I unfortunately <laughs> bet Buffalo plus three and a half. I was excited. <laughs> And then it just came <clears throat> off. Josh Allen. They went on what a thirty-eight. Buffalo needs a run game. Wasn't they don't 30, have any running from that one. point? No it was thirty-eight-six or something like that. Yeah, the the future. They obviously need to improve the run game. Josh Allen first. It's you got to remember Patrick Mahomes first time in the playoffs, like first big game he lost. Obviously, it was a Tom to AFC title game. An AFC title game. Right. Josh Allen. This was his first time on the big stage. Like he wasn't twenty-eight forty-eight. The first half he looked he looked nervous. You could tell. It's a big game. Yeah. I don't. I think Buffalo has a bright future. I think oh, hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Josh Allen's either way. I, we talked about it before. Josh Allen's getting a mega contract, whether yeah, he won or lost. He's a stud. Well, then you look at the uh, red zone struggles. So Kansas City was twenty sixth in red zone percentage coming in the they last six up, weeks. They give up nothing. No, in offense. <laughs> oh, in, in offense, offense. Yes, and they just scored every time. Buff- yeah. And Buffalo was the number one red zone. And they they just couldn't gave stop up touchdowns every time. Tyreek Hill had a seventy one yard reception. I mean, you can't stop that. Travis McCall, Kelsey. Travis McCall Kelsey Hardman had a 50-yard reverse. Like, the, yeah. they gave up too many big plays yeah. to even Dude, I like how, see, we were talking about earlier about how Aaron Rodgers, his posture and how he reacts when receivers drop footballs. Yeah. Cardman muffs that punt. It's 9-0. They go right oh, back yeah. to him. They go, this is, they went, nice they reverse. went, right, Mahomes. Right? You see Dude, Kelsey, Kelsey on the sideline? Uh, talking him? to him. And yeah. they literally, the next drive, first yeah. play, they throw it to Hardman. Three plays later, he, yeah. they hit the reverse 50 for 50. Reverse. They got that kid's confidence instantly back. Right. Like, hey, bro, don't worry about that it. That goes to Reed, though, too, the coaching. Yeah. Oh, 100%. But, yeah, I mean, Patrick so. Mahomes isn't out there like, get this dude out the game. God. Right. Oh, my right. God. You dropped it. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That yeah. dude, he went to the sideline after that, sat down, and literally put his jacket over his head and put his head down. And Travis Kelsey went over there, took his jacket off, and was like, come on. <laughs> yeah, there's up. plenty more plays dude, to go around. Check it out. It's yeah. the, it's, it, we got, quarter, a, we got yeah. three and a half quarters of play. Let's go. Yeah, and literally the next drive, they went to Hardman. Just yeah. made sure That's to get his confidence back. That's good leadership. I liked it. Yeah, the Buffalo took too many negative plays. They oh, had to when Al- the when Allen, craziest times. That's my thing is you, with Allen, you got to get outside the pocket. You got to roll out. He took he's, sacks he's inside losing the like pocket. Four sacks for 53 He's yards. losing like 15 yards. Just, Dude, well, the, the one at the, the end. The one he lost 20, 23. Yeah, yeah. But earlier still, in the game when it was third and like six, it turned into fourth and 20 because he's dropping straight back. Or even second and down, he, yeah. Dude, he had his hand out. He's trying to... At some point, you're 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage. You're not getting it back to the line of scrimmage. You know what I mean? It's yeah, going to be intentional grounding or you're taking a sack. If you're going backwards, you ain't breaking no tackles. If you're you moving outside. You have to get out. And that's yeah. his strength. You have to get outside the outside the box, outside the tackles. I was a little surprised at that. But I think Buffalo, I think next year they're going to be right back in the mix 100%. They got to have yeah. – they got to either – I don't know if it's their line it or if it's just It might be their line because – yeah. I think they, it might be their line. Look how many times Josh Allen had to scramble. But he he, he, did, he went straight or back sa- or get sacked I or he or he though. or he rushed the throws. Well, did you read Cole Beasley's playing like a broke, broken? He had a broken leg. fibula in week. <laughs> week. We'll play with a broken leg. That's legendary. What nine, seven for ninety in this game? Yeah, he's like I was playing out there with a broken fibula. Legendary. And that's the other thing. If they had another play, I think Gabriel Davis. I don't know what happened to him. Did he not play? Dawson Knox. <laughs> Knox is no, but Gabriel Davis not playing. Remember in the Colts game, know. he was tippy toeing everything on the sideline. I don't know. I feel like John Brown came in. Yeah. And Davis is sitting on the sideline. That dude's a playmaker. He's 6'4". He can, if he touches he's the ball. Player. If he touches the ball, he picks up 15. So I think he's just going to get better. I think Buffalo will be back. I'm not worried about it. Buffalo will be back. Kansas City, the wild, Because though. Tom Brady's not in the AFC no more. Buffalo's got a chance. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Until Aaron Rodgers comes over from the <laughs> Packers. <right? laughs> Heads to New England. England. Colts. Yeah. Heads to New England. Yeah. New England. Yeah. Kansas, or Colts are going to be dangerous. What if year? Cam Newton's a starting quarterback in the Packers? If year? Cam Newton's a <laughs> starting quarterback for the 49ers, I'm <laughs> mailing all my shit. Are you going to mail back? Yeah, I'm gonna hold if him. Cam Newton, if Cam Newton, they I don't cut Jim, they cut Jimmy and miss on every other quarterback. They assign Cam Newton. I'll freak out. <laughs> All right, so Kansas City, Tampa Bay is set. Big game, future goat or no goat versus everybody's projecting I'm not future doing goat. That. There's well, no, no way. Doing that. we'll get into it. It's, no, gonna it's be like so the, tough. The projection is the future goat. I yeah. mean, it's just what right. he's 25. He's already in his back. He's going for a back to back Super Bowl win. He's super young. He's super good. Yeah, but so that's that's the narrative though. Yeah, let's calm down, guys. Yeah. 
if he, win, future if he goat, wins this, that's fine, dude. I he's mean, still, no, yeah. he's still four. <laughs> he's still, he's still, still, he's still four Super Bowls behind him. Oh, I get and, it. And got, eight more you appearances gotta catch, behind. You got to catch Montana. I'm not saying when Mahomes, when Mahomes plays in his tenth Super Bowl, we'll start talking about that conversation. No, I'm not. I'm not say, no, that's yeah. everybody's talking. We're going to talk about it. Next Andy Reid. So. Andy Reid literally is could drop dead from a heart attack tomorrow, and the whole What's Chiefs, the, the whole that? Chiefs, the Lorax? dynasty is is that's it. It's <laughs> downhill from there. Depleted. The Lorax. He the, is the, the Lorax. Lorax. He looks like he the Lorax. The Lorax. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. You know he's been this big since he was twelve. Have you seen him? Yeah, the pump pass and kick competition. He was this size right now. He was. A, Don't he tell was, me he how many, how many more years does he have? Have on you, his have you seen this? Beat? No. You haven't seen the pump pass and kick with Andy Reid at twelve years old. No. He's the same size as he is a head coach right now. We'll watch it after this. After we're done recording, dude, he's six three two sixty. He's twelve years old. He won the. I feel like I might have seen this. Oh, it's nuts. It's him now kicking. Oh. Wait, what? He's, he's 12, the same but he's size. the same size. And he's oh, punting against great. these fucking 12. We'll oh, it's the wildest thing I've ever seen. He won the punt, pass, and kick contest yeah. at halftime. He was 6'3", 240. <laughs> just booting The it. next biggest kid was 4'9", 100 pounds. <laughs> it was nuts. Yeah. Dude, he punted it. They almost signed him at halftime. Yeah, we'll watch that. But yeah, if you and listeners, if you haven't seen that, go look that up right now. All right, so next week, we'll have all the prop bets. Uh, we'll have snack suggestions. Maybe we'll get some recipes out for oh, we Super Bowl have, snacks. We have Super Bowl we snacks, little snacks, too. Little, we, like we our put favorite, the menu out there for them? A little favorite Super Bowl snacks. Put the menu out for them. And then we'll do, our obviously, our game picks. Super I'm going to bring Bowl my MVP. big board. I'm bringing the big board. I'm ranking my snacks. We're going to do big board snacks. snacks. One through big five. Bring, who's locked in number one in your big Don't tell okay. them now. Don't say it no, now. No, we're not saying it now. Right. I haven't get even thought your, about it. Get your one through five big board on snacks for Super Bowl. Top, right. yeah, we'll top see, five we'll big board. See, we'll little, see where we're at. Little pyramid scheme, yeah, dude. Right. Not a pyramid five, scheme, just big board. Locked in. I got my number one locked scheme. in right now. Already. The vet fucking nutrients, <laughs> yeah, at the top, yeah. The, the categories, the the vegetable top. trays the towards ca- the bottom. Categories. <laughs> All right, so that's it. So next week, join us then. So let's get into UFC. We talked. We mentioned it earlier. God, Conor McGregor, dude, I'm so broken hearted. UFC two fifty seven. Yeah, Everybody sucked. watched it. Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier. I told you guys, I told you specifically because you said McGregor's going to knock him out. I said, don't underestimate Poirier. I didn't bet the fight. I late, I bet the under, which I Good. missed by two seconds, by the way. Oh, it went two, <laughs> it went two minutes and 32 <laughs> seconds. Oh, it went yeah. over. After he finished him, I was like, did I win? But I, I put very little. But yeah, I wasn't confident McGregor was going to complete. I picked McGregor, as so it did. did I. Don't lie, as did 95% of the Everybody world. Everybody did. Um, Only person that didn't feel Vaughn. That's his boy. <laughs> That's his boy. But he yeah, won no. th- he won a thousand. I mean, so. the fallout from this is wild. If you're on Twitter, MMA fans are just thinking Connor shit. He's basically. not. Oh my god, that's crazy. Sure. He won the first round. He absolutely won the first round. Ten, yeah. I looked at the score and he's shit. Time. Come on, this time night. Poirier is a beast. Shout out to him. He he did the work. How do they go from? How do they decide Connor's shit? Because that's, that's, ha- that's, right. that's what that's what happens. That's what happens. It's not like he got knocked out no. by T. Day Dillashaw. <laughs> You know what right. I mean? I right. love Dillashaw. <laughs> Dude hasn't fought in three years. I still like him. He's going to come back in a fear. He's got a comeback book, I guess. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, Poirier, shout out Poirier. That fool's a savage. He's, he's lost the, he's one the out best. of his last oh, yeah. seven. He's the champ right now because Khabib's not coming back. Nobody's a champ. I'm not going to give him that. Because it's not a different, different. If it was for the belt, I feel like you see different fighters, like mindset. Uh, like if it's all, belts on the line, I don't think you see same. You might get the same result, but the mindset's completely different. It's a the different, it's a different I like aspect. That fight, I guess, yeah. Even that fight this weekend is completely different, in my opinion, if the fans are there. The well, fans? Yeah. If oh, fans if the Irish are there, fans, are there, the fans stands, are there, that ole, fight ends up ole, 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 I don't know. Ole. I think, is a savage. Ole is a savage, I think but if one of those Ori is standing there and all he can hear is ole, ole, yeah. ole, I think ole. You got a point. It gets I think UFC is one of those sports where you need – Absolutely, Connor is. A, you get Connor's, so jacked. Connor, off the fans. I think Connor strives with the fans too. I think he. Yeah, yeah but also, Jackson. but I said, but we talked about this Saturday was the old Connor was not the, the mindset, and you're like, I hate you. I'm talking shit. I'm in your mind. He's being all the mental warfare and like, wasn't there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a, even Dustin today was on ESPN. He said the the aura of Connor wasn't there. It he was. gave himself credit because he's like, I think I could be anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Which he should. Feel that way, can not but feel you don't that way. Like, or you're, you're getting knocked if out. If you go back and watch some of the footage from last time, like the crazy Connor is like in your head, like he wins wild. fights before they ever get in the cage. Yeah. So now this yeah. nice persona he's doing, which not I working. think he's changed. Oh, I don't it's think done. it's like. Right. A, I don't think he's pretending to be nice. No. I think he's like really mature. He's, he's got kids. Yeah, he's, he's married. Mature. He's like, 
I was beating he had up all this. He had all I this. was hitting old guys in bars. Like I don't want to do that. Like when you get yeah. older, you do that. Like I probably that's punched fine, old but guy. I mean, right. inside the UFC though, <laughs> he had all this crazy <laughs> respect for Poirier. I just and he just like went out and showed now, it. Like, yeah, he you did, start becoming he, nobody. That old he didn't guy. have to. Yeah. He just like went out and showed it himself. I don't think it helped. No, definitely not. But so anyway, so the uh, the old Connor, I think, was hungry. Obviously, the belief is the belief gone in himself. No, no. You just did no. he doubt himself coming in, or did he underestimate Poirier? I what think happened? he might have underestimated him. I don't. Know. I did. That didn't. last we would just watch the fight before we recorded, rewatched yeah. it. Dude, that punch he landed. He was right, so in the, right in the kisser, dude. Right in the <laughs> right kisser. Right on the freaking oh. button. You could ask for a better shot. Like that's like if he just put his face down. It's like, hey, uppercut me right in the face. Right. And it hit him right in the. Here's a free shot. He's done. Take it. Got right through the guard. He looked like he an old two man seconds, too. Take he it. Said, just fell over. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. So he was sleeping. Obviously, the everybody <laughs> took a little <laughs> little dirt nap. Everybody was surprised. Most people. Shout out, uh, fellow. Oh, it's uh, shout out, David Art. Happy birthday, oh, yeah. Art. Yeah, yeah. his birthday. He hit me up like ten minutes before the fight and was like, "I'm gonna send you money. You're gonna bet Dustin. He's not losing." I was like, "Are you sure?" He's like, "You want to take the bet?" I said, "Nope." <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to like take the bet and another lose. One. And like, he owns me in bets, so <laughs> he no, he kills me. Pat dude. actually got on and betted himself. <laughs> no, I said I'll make the bet. I'm not taking the action because I don't want to lose more money. And it would double sting if I Connor loses and I lose money. I had, dude, I had money. In, I had money in Patsy. I gave Pat money to bet on his account, and I had money left when the main event started, and I didn't bet it. I was surprised. <laughs> I would do it. Yeah, I, I, just, I, sent I it put back 60 to bucks I just on couldn't, I low. couldn't come. I didn't in, lose too much. Couldn't do it. I thought was about like, putting nah. more. It's a good thing I didn't. The aura was wrong. Or he was right. Well, and he was minus there. 350. Well, I was going to bet him by knockout and a round. You know what I mean? I was going to pick a round. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's plus what I money. Did. I did second and third round. Yeah. All right. Chandler Hooker. Takeaways on that. Chandler so looks nice. look good. Look good. Can't stand his tattoo, You're, but he looked good. You were surprised. You said I was you thought Hooker was going to. I thought Hooker was going to bounce down. Horrible. But, but Chandler showed up. He looked great. He, won, he won from Bell to the, the pressure. I was surprised the pressure. I know he said he was going to come out and do that, but it's different competition from Bell. He hits hard, dude. Oh, he, he, he knocked out Dan done. Hooker. Think about it. He knocked Poirier out Dan Hooker. Poirier couldn't do it in five rounds, and he beat the break. They beat the yeah. brakes off each other. That was a sick fight. Obviously, that was one of the best of, the, of last year. Michael Chandler knocked him out, though. Yeah, yeah. Like he's got power. And Khabib, since we're talking about this, Khabib, Khabib. to come out and say that somebody's going to so impress come, me. They got to come out and be like, what makes him come out of retirement? Right well, no, he came out last anything? week and said, if somebody does something crazy this weekend and impresses Both two dudes me. Did. And before that, he said Oliveira looks good. Come out and impress me this weekend. Oh my! I'll come back. Oh, Chandler did that, hundred yeah. percent. Shocked did me. It. I thought that fight would go two, three. I thought it'd probably go the distance. I had Chandler, but Chandler I wouldn't. Really, I wouldn't shock me. I didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah, that shit surprised me. Two and a half minutes. He starches Abs. Dan Hooker, dude. Yeah. Dan Hooker's the tough one of the and toughest Chandler, dudes. And Chandler has a wrestling background, which that, Khabib wants nothing. To do you don't with want that. Chandler That's because he wants thirty and zero. He doesn't. He don't want to fight Chandler. Chandler. That's the biggest. He risk don't want. I don't think he want Oliveira. Either. That's a risk too. So, he'll, he'll take Poirier and McGregor. I promise. I don't. Yeah. Not now. Not now. But I he mean, came out, take he Poirier. Came out, but you don't think excuses? you don't think that's enough? What Poirier did? He ain't gonna come fight I Poirier. I think it is. He knocked out. No one's knocked out Conor. No one's finished McGregor right. other than a submission. That was the first time anybody's ever knocked done it out, in the yeah. history of the world. Yeah. That's got to be enough. How's that? How? But you could Khabib, pick your poison, Oliveira, Chandler, or Poirier. I'd be fine with. Khabib will fight Poirier, but he won't. He already said. He said, "I'm not. I'm done." Like, don't say that and then retract your. If you get, what is he scared? If you say it, just do it. He's not gonna though. I already hated him before. I don't hate. I him. think he. I he's think he only was coming back if Connor won. I think he's the second best of all time. Second behind John Jones. You got him ahead of GSP. Yeah. Ooh, I know. That's GSP exact, lost that's exact, to Matt. No, GSP that's exactly lost to Matt Sarah, and then came back and destroyed. It don't matter. He lost. That's a, that was G, my first d- guy. Khabib has never lost. A, he lost one round. You got him ahead of Anderson Silva. Yeah. Ooh. Who? John Jones? No. Oh, John Khabib. Jones is a goat. I don't care what anybody John says. Jones is nobody's better than John Jones. <laughs> no one's be better. No, this, this was on cocaine winning oh. fights. No one. It doesn't matter. John Jones is better. Cocaine on edge. I feel like I don't know. No, that fool. That fool came out. He talked about it. He said he was doing all that shit. To use as a crutch. So if he did lose, he had an excuse. There we and go. he just I kept winning. See. Stop. And he just kept winning. He could come back and say, hey, I wasn't even I wasn't even the best I could be. Right. I guess that kind of crutch. 
Like I wasn't could, even the best I could be. But he, he kept lost winning a, and he kept winning. Right. He kept I guess winning. you could say Jones lost the Reyes. Nevertheless, you could say he lost the Reyes. No, he didn't. Though. No, that's what I'm saying. With if you're gonna say if I I'm saying GSP lost to Matt Sarah, you could also say Jones lost to probably you could give him the loss Reyes or Sam, even El- Santos, Santos was close. But GSP he got didn't. knocked out by Matt Sarah though. He got KO'd. Whatever. Anyway, but back to back to this. Khabib, don't come out and say you're gonna do something. And then just retract it. Because everybody on those right. last two fights, both were impressive. You can't argue that. There's he came no out argue. and said if one of the four did something great. And two of he, them did. Half of them yeah. did. The two winners did. And now and, he wants nothing yeah. to do with so it. So get lost. Go retire, please. Just we're gonna, give the belt up. Yeah. We're going to play just matchmaker. Give it Dana's going to Dana, take it. Dude's we're gonna, not coming back. We're going to play matchmaker here in a second. But obviously the other fight I wanted to mention was Reboss and Rodriguez. Reboss was winning 10-9 on every scorecard. Wrestling. And then she decided, for some crazy reason, let me strike with Marina. No. Good night. Sorry. And no, can we talk about Herb Dean for a second? Legend. <laughs> she said, fight's over. Nah, just he kidding. Stepped in, <laughs> out. He didn't touch him, though, but he no, was going to like stop this, it. He didn't touch He was inches. I saw it. He, I, everybody in the world thought he stopped it. I thought. I was, I was like, it's she over. She jumped up. She's fu- <laughs> she got jelly. St- oh, we'll talk about Sanchez, too. <laughs> jumped up. She started fighting. And the other chick's like, okay, I guess I'll knock you out she more. She pointed out. Yeah. She's like... It's over. And he's like, I didn't do nothing. Nope. Put his hands up all crazy. <laughs> and then she walked the other, fucking put her head in the canvas again. I was like, I felt bad a little bit. Come on, Herb. Herb. Herb's got to be better. Herb had a rough year last year. He's not off did to you a good see, start this did year. Did you, <laughs> speaking of like knockouts, did you see Andrew Sanchez? The no. dance he did? No. We're going to watch that. Oh, I didn't see that. You didn't see the fucking. No. The right. wobbly. Oh, we're watching it. Is it good? Oh, it's great. What is dance? He did a dance in the middle. The dude hit him. The, During was, the fight? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Did it look like Jackson Mahomes' TikTok? Oh, no. Oh, he brought him up. <laughs> God damn it. We'll go back. I just wanted to fire Bobby sorry, up for a, a second. Sorry, Patrick, dude. I'm, I know I just like rough. to stir the pot here. That's all. God. Bo- uh, Jackson Mahomes <laughs> is... Si- if I didn't have money on the Bucks and I was like an equal fan and I saw Jackson Mahomes' TikTok, I would immediately root for the Bucks. I'm betting the Bucks no matter what. And once, <laughs> once I saw Jackson Mahomes... Basically, you know the Steelers are going to sign him, right? Because his TikTok skills. Did you, you imagine I mean? Jackson Mahomes? Yeah, him Juju. and Juju on the him outside, the dude, dancing time. it up the field. <laughs> Big Ben just losing his shit every down. This guy Love just it. comes out and throws a fifty-yard ball. Oh, Mahomes, Jackson Mahomes is yeah. the new fifth receiver for the wide re- for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, he won't even play, <laughs> but he's going to be doing TikToks on the sideline. <laughs> he's the TikTok coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> him and Juju, dude, Corvette, Corvette. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> It's a bitch. <laughs> oh, Corvette, man. Corvette. All right, fan, fan question. Listener, I'm not going to call them fans because I don't even know if they listen. Listener question. Maybe they hate us. You know, that'd probably, be yeah, probably if they hate us up right hater now. Hater question. Try to trip us up. All right, we got to sort out the lightweight division. We're still on UFC, so the rankings right now, like we don't know, no one's booked, no one's That's signed anything. That's the craziest part about this division, dude. One through nine is literally not booked. Nobody's booked. No, it's one through eight, and then you got Nate Diaz sneaking back into 155. So you got Poirier sneakers. Get- Poirier, Sneakers. Gaethje, Oliveira, Chandler, Tony Ferguson at five, Connor, yeah. RDA, Arms. Hooker, Diaz, unranked. Paul yeah, Felder, unranked. too. Paul Felder's nine. So, and he's know. retired. What do you think, if as a fan or as Dane, so I did a, a should happen and a gut feeling was going to happen. What do you think is, what's the title? What do you do with the title? We're assuming Khabib's out. So Poirier fights, obviously, but his opponent is a, is just... In the wind, it could be anybody. Like who should? What do you think? No, for you, who should be the who should be the title? Sh- who could? Who, who should, should be the get the title shot? Yeah. Who's the, the title? Who, who makes like who deserves it? Who makes the most sense? Who, who should, should get, the title get it? Shot? And yeah. who do you think gets it? Charles Oliveira should probably get it because of his so his P- streak Poirier he's on. Oliveira. You can't give it to Gates. He's coming off a loss. Poirier. So, so, so you give it to Oliveira. Okay, but that ain't gonna happen. We all know that. Yep, There's no yep. chance. Dana's is not gonna waste his time in a pay per view on that. So it's either Nate Diaz or Michael Chandler. And Poirier doesn't want – he already said Chandler is not the fight. He ain't doing that. So it has to be Nate Diaz. So you got Poirier Diaz? That has to be. I think Poirier Diaz, Diaz I think, or I think, Chandler Diaz? I think Dana – Dana, well, I mean, a couple weeks ago, Dana came out and said he had a fight for Nate Diaz, but they didn't announce it. They waited for this fight to happen. I think if Connor wins, it's Diaz for sure. Poirier wins – they don't announce who Nate was supposed to fight because they 
Now, it was now they Connor. now they yeah. line him up with. It's or either, they thought it was going to be now Connor. it's Poirier. Nate just walks in, not ranked, fighting for the title. Poirier and Diaz. That's it has to be. That's your gut. That's what I think happens. The should fight is Oliveira Poirier. Should be. Should be. But what, what do you think, Pete? The should fight. I don't know. Like, um, the dude, it's tough. That's stacked. Uh, no, it's I, a shit show. This whole division's wild. Uh, I think every I other division has title fights. It would be tough to not put Chandler in there, but you know he's what fifth right now, fourth, four, yeah, or four, yeah. Jo- so Oliveira's? Oliveira, yeah, it's he's almost Gaethje's coming off a loss, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's got to be. Uh, but You're then where do you stick? Elder. Yeah, but where do you stick Nate Diaz? That's what that's, that's the wrench. He's unranked. He's dropping down from one seventy. Right. He's a draw. He's, he's a one fifty five. He's probably though. the second biggest draw in the UFC. Second or third. Bosvidal, Connor, Connor is he's up there. I guess he's top five. Connor I'd say. Nate is one and two. I don't know. I mean, is, I like is what you're wrong. saying. Izzy, I mean, Izzy it, is not up there with those. I feel guys. like that makes sense. What you said, John Jones. All right, I, th- I just so me, my should fight is Poirier Gaethje. Yeah, but Poirier, Bo- Poirier. I don't care also if you're com- has a, he has he's sitting here. He's gear like it's his his title fight. Right. He basically gonna, gets to pick his opponent though too. Right. He's not going to take Charles Oliveira. There's no money. No, I'm, no, my should fight. My should fight is Poirier Gaethje. They're one and two. Both their last losses were title shots versus Khabib. Gaethje's loss prior to Khabib this was Poirier. Poirier. So it's you're a rematch. Getting, you're getting Gaethje Poirier two for the belt. Both like those are the both the last two title challengers. Olafair is not selling a fight. So and here. It's stylistically, it's a bad matchup. You got to beat, and he's beat nobody. Who's he beat? Okay, check it out. Ferguson. Here we go. That's it. Yeah, but then, okay, so at then least you, you so eliminate that. So if you put him in the next title fight, you eliminate that. So you get two guys coming you're, up. He's out. No one's buying it. It's still about money. Who's watch, uh, If Oliveira is fighting Poirier. You still got to give the man a shot. Say Poirier, say Poirier books okay, Diaz. Okay, Dana White. I'm just, I guarantee he's not getting a shot. <laughs> Poirier books Diaz, okay? So instantly, I'm not two guys yet. coming off a loss. I'm not even done. You book Connor Gaethje. Huge. And then you, you just not give Chandler. No. You give Chandler Oliveira. No, so my my yeah. should fight is Poirier Gaethje for those reasons. Right. My gut is telling me Poirier Diaz is going to happen. That's happening because Diaz yeah. is such a big draw. Poirier and Diaz. Then if Diaz it's the wins, money. no, it's more than that. If Diaz, if Diaz beats wins, Poirier, yeah. Connor, or Poirier wins, Connor, Connor three, either one, right? I mean, obviously, there's people sick of Connor. If I'm Nate, not. If, I think it's entertaining. They give as to shit. Nate. Yeah. Nate he beats sells. Poirier. He I sells. don't know. Does Nate beat Poirier? Poirier's a savage, dude. I so, never okay, so next fight. Out. So next fight. So you got. Uh, what do you do with? So what do you do with Oliveira? So my should fight. I give him Michael Chandler. So I'm going should fight yeah. Poirier Gaethje. My should fight is Oliveira Chandler. That's my fight too. My gut is Gaethje Oliveira because I have Poirier taking Diaz. So I have Gaethje taking on Oliveira. Gaethje's got a wrestling background. I like that ends that streak of Oliveira. Takes and it height. takes out the top. Obviously, Diaz is shooting up right, from unranked. Separates it a little bit. Then you got Gaethje Oliveira. The two winners are lined up, unless Connor's ready. If Connor's not ready for winner of Poirier Diaz, then you got the winner of Gaethje Oliveira, the next one. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's Chandler do? What do you mean? If those dudes do all that, what's Chandler going to do? Just sit? You got to get Chandler Oliveira. That's true. That's what I'm saying. This thing's all crazy. Chandler, the sh- the Chandler, fight. Chandler we talked about earlier, Chandler could fight tomorrow. Yeah. If I'm Michael yeah. Chandler, I'm booking a fight instantly. I didn't even. I ha- you yeah. have to book a fight but instantly. Who, this is the shit show Against the top f- four yeah. or three guy to keep yourself relevant. Because if not, Diaz is the problem. What, bud, this train's going to turn. Yeah, Diaz, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Diaz, this train's gonna turn, the he's the Diaz is going to take every fight you were supposed to get. That's so why I said. book yourself now before Diaz takes your fucking no takes shit. Your everything yeah. from you. This is why I'm saying the should fight should be Poirier Gaethje and the next should fight should be Oliveira Chandler in the winner's fight. But the Diaz problem is, is here, though, baby. The problem yeah. is Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. The needle right. mover, Nate the Diaz. Both these guys are like, eh. Yeah, People are buying mover. my fights, not yours. Dana yeah. goes, eh, Nate Diaz is a needle mover. We're going to get him the top <laughs> yeah. shot. And then I <laughs> go here further go. And Dustin yeah. Poirier goes, absolutely, I'm taking that. Yeah. And here's how much money I want for the fight. And Dana goes, okay, cool. Sign here. Exactly. Well, then you go down f- even further. Would you book Tony Ferguson versus Connor? Because they're like kind of legends, and Ferguson's coming off Connor two. RDA. See, RDA they got a, sucks. They too. got a history though. Yeah. There, he's two and four in his last six, and he's Connor just going to throw fight. leg kicks against this dude. Connor Get, can fight anybody though. Who wants to watch RDA? Who's he beat? He's two and four. 
He's, Put yeah, him and Oliveira together. <laughs> he just got, well, he, free. He I'll watch it for free. Well, who did, since he got back to 155, he's fought. He beat Felder. Michael Chaza and lost, and then he beat Felder. Felder fought on like I think he's two, twelve hours notice. He's literally yeah. two so, and four in his last six. Yeah, but they were at 170 though. He fought Leon Edwards at 170. He lost that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's Leon Edwards. I don't care. RDA is out. Have him fight the Makovic dude. Makovic. Yeah. Mach-a-vedge. yeah put it, give him that fight. Whatever. Just. I don't even know how this guy's ranked eight. I don't think I've ever even watched RDA fight. He's been fighting for like Never. 30 years. I don't think I've watched <laughs> one single one. I think he started fighting when he was nine. All right. He used to be the champ. I don't know. Until the USADA showed up, and then all the Brazilians lost their belts. So Connor out six months. They say that, but I mean, he can get cleared. I mean, he can what, get cleared by a doctor about Connor Hooker? Connor's not taking that fight. Why? What do you mean? Because it doesn't do anything for him. Yeah, it, it does help. nothing for him. Connor doesn't. Help. It doesn't matter if Connor loses. He can go fight a title fight next week. Right. Because he's no. a, he's a star. You, I he's mean, a, he's a star. Think about Connor. Yeah, Nadia. I think it changed. You, know what, you guys are Dude, tripping out right check now. It I out. think it changed a little check bit with out. this fight. Check it out. A they little. could do. They could. Not Dana, for me. Dana could do what he wants, dude. They could strip Khabib tomorrow, and they could put the in, the belt up and make Nate Diaz fight Connor McGregor and just leave Poirier out. I guess people are still going to buy it. I think yeah. the narrative changed. What if they a did that? I think they changed. What if they? What if they just absolutely the, just burn Poirier and they make Connor versus no. Nate Diaz for the title? <laughs> That'd be. I don't wild. think they would. It do would that. be nuts, dude. It Poirier just sits problems. on the shelf to fight the winner. <laughs> it would create problems. I think a <laughs> little bit how? of the. He, dude, no, I'm telling you right now. I think the narrative changed a little on Connor after this fight. He's still a mega how, star because the because of the 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 selling point. Like he didn't. He's not the crazy dude. You're not tuning in to see like. Did you watch the press conference? It was stupid. I'm asking you. It was dumb. I'm asking you. I watched it. All he did was you, talk you, about how great Dustin Poirier is. That's what I'm is. saying. Did you watch it, Pete? Right. No. I don't think the nice Conor McGregor is as high of a selling point as the insane, insane guy. It's gone now. He you know what I'm saying? Again. How do you think Mas- Where's Masvidal? Remember the crazy gangster Masvidal? Where's he at right now? He's coming. I hope so. <laughs> he's, if, he's imagine coming. if Masvidal comes out and he's all nice next time. No one wants to see this great. We want to see Col- We want to see problems. Right. Absolutely. We don't want to see two yeah. guys nice. Then guys. You see they conflict. just put Colby Covington. And you can't. And especially if you come out. and you're, no, they you're nice all of a sudden, and you guaranteed. get knocked out. Ugh. You know what I mean? Connor, the nice Connor is gone. The nice Connor was a it was a, an absolute experiment that just happened. It's gone. It's not gone. It's dude. gone. That's him. It's gone. He's no old. More. No just more. Because you're not nice doesn't mean Connor <laughs> McGregor. This no more. I'm telling you right now. It's gone. Connor's gonna come back and be the savage he was. I think he's got trash to trash talk to the to the to the food. He right. has to hate the dude he's fighting. Either he's has gonna. to be Hamzat Chimev or Khabib, and that's it. No, who else does he hate? Diaz. Th- those would d- d- go out a Your little boy, bit, dude. Who? That's fighting Leon Edwards. He's getting. Hard. I hope he. That's not my boy, Hamzat. Yeah, I don't like that guy. I hate that dude too. <laughs> All right. I think that. Oh, I we got one like more question. Guy. We're going to NBA real quick. Okay. Before we end, we got an NBA question. If you take, <laughs> I don't even know why this is even on. <laughs> you picked. It. I wrote it. All right, Nuggets and Sixers. Well, you guys love the NBA, so I'm gonna let you guys dive into this. If you take Jokic off the Nuggets and take Embiid off the Sixers, you guys play. You guys can argue about this for a minute. Are they playoff teams? Are you Which, switching them or just taking them off? No, team? T- they're both off. They're Are off. They play, they're just like injured. They're out. The Nuggets are not a playoff are team. Are they playoff teams in their respective divisions? No. The Both. Nuggets in the West, no. Philly in the East, probably. Who's scoring? On Philly? Ben Simmons turned everybody. Ben Simmons good. is averaging Simmons, like 13 yeah. points a game. Yeah, but he'd average He's 20 assists. He's not scoring on anybody. He'd average 20 assists. Who's he going to pass the ball to? Every dude, it, it, anybody can shoot. No, they are they're not absolutely. Do you think they get an eight in the East? No. You could lose a losing record eight in the East. No, look at their lineup. Doc their lineup. Rivers? Doc Rivers have them lined out. You think so? I don't think so. No? No way. Let's see here. Who do you, what do you mean? It's not just Ben Simmons is in B. They got Tobias Harris over there. He averaged 30 a game. No, look at – so you you mean to tell me – You don't think Tobias Harris – Who are you going to take out? Score? You're taking out – let's see, right now – Take and beat off the team. Yeah, they're 10 and 6. Who? Okay, so who's the, who's who's 6 or who's the big So we got right now out of the playoffs – Miami Heat. They're terrible right now. They're bad. No, Tor- Jimmy- Toronto Raptors. They're not they're outside looking in. Right now we still have the Hawks who are nice, the Cavs and the Knicks. The Cavs are surprisingly nice. You think they're better than the, the Knicks. Hawks? They're better than the Knicks. The Knicks are number one defensive in the NBA though. 
They're not better than the Heat. On defense? The Heat are playing bad right now. Yeah, they are bad. But right now, the ranking NBA defense, number one defense in the NBA right now is the Knicks. So? I'm just saying. No, they're not making the I think playoffs. if you take Embiid off the Sixers, he's Tobias Harris picks he's, up the scoring he's load. He's averaging I think they 27 still, points I think they a game. Get to eight. They can get to eight in the East. What do you think, Pat? You think they make the playoffs? I think the Nuggets will be uh, Sixers? Yeah. Or who's on 14? Any speed. of them. If you take those teams off? Yeah. I, I think those two players. I think the Nuggets make it. Without Jokic? Yeah. I think the no. Sixers make it. The Nuggets are done. I think the Sixers have a better chance to make the playoffs. I think it's about, the, think it's about the same, I guess. And beat is balling, though. Yeah, he's averaging 27 a game. Sixers probably Sixers make it. Sixers With Tobias Harris, it. Tobias Harris pick up some scoring. The East is obviously the Cavs and the Knicks. All these guys are surprising. Orlando's 8 and 10. I don't know. Well, obviously, if you take them out now, they make the playoffs. The Cavs are super right. surprising. Six game it's so early, just... but no, if you took them out right now, I don't the think Nuggets they make the Nuggets started off terrible. They're 10 and 7. They're the five, 4 seed now. Like Utah's up there. Yeah, you take Jokic off that team, they're not Jokic. Yeah, off. Jokic is out there playing like an MVP right now. Yeah, yeah that's my that was my preseason pick. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's my Jokic guy. is balling. Dude's ever. I still think twenty five. That was my number one seed. Too. Eleven. They're gonna eight. get hot too. I think. I think they both probably make it. Really. Uh, I don't. I don't think the Duggets. I think probably the not. I guess you're right. Chance. I guess the Sixers probably have their chance. To, but Denver's good. the West is obviously tougher than the East. Right. Even now, that's a loaded question. No, it's not. So There's not a bunch loaded. of surprising teams in these. I guess like, it doesn't Knicks, even matter Cavs? at that point. The playoffs? We're talking about playoffs? <laughs> playoffs? playoffs? Either of these, these teams wouldn't do nothing without either of them. Where did he, where did he, he Just so up? I'm clear, right. the six, Embiid's the best player on Philly. If they don't have him, he's not. they're not going anywhere. Right. Simmons can't shoot. No, and right. he told everybody, basically, he doesn't care what anybody thinks. Like, you can't shoot, period. He's yeah. Rondo. Rondo? He's early Rondo. Early, early Rondo. Rondo. Or Boston Rondo. I think he's a he's a bum. A bum? <laughs> he's not a bum. He's no one definitely he's not, he's fucking putting no. up triple doubles yeah. over there. He's, he's not, not a bum. All of a sudden, triple doubles <laughs> matter. Well, yeah, do you you're like, not Russ. Do you like Lonzo Ball? Yeah. That fool's getting there dealt. Oh, Lonzo. Yeah, he's fine. Lonzo's yeah. getting traded. That's Ben Simmons. LaMelo's better than Lonzo. Both ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball. Are LaMelo's better than both of those. Then Ben Simmons? Yeah. Stop. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness! Have you seen Ben Simmons play defense? Watch. He can play defense. Yeah, he Watch. can play defense. He can play defense. Defense. And he's six. Lamelo getting left at half. What's court. crazy is in the NBA, defense doesn't win championships. <laughs> I don't you know. They did. He did pretty bit. well last year. No, you gotta play, play a little the bit. The Lakers were, I think, the number one defense team in the league. No, the Heat last year hey. was the Heat. Wasn't it? True release. Yeah. All right. Last thing we got to mention. Maybe in the playoffs, the Heat. The police. The Heat were in the playoffs. But I think regular season it was Lakers. Yeah. With, last yeah, thing Anthony we'll, Davis had ten. Last thing we'll bring up today might be a soft spot. We'll have especially for Pete. Oh man, I almost cried a little bit today. Did no, you did say, you? Yeah, man, this cuts deep. Yes, bro. you do. I was my idol, man. I know that stuff hurts. Kobe yeah. Bryant, that's my guy. Not just Kobe, but I uh, obviously year. every all, yeah. Gianna and all the victim, all the people that cr- was in the helicopter. All nine. That's a shitty time, but yeah. we'll bring it up. Wild Condolences. Time. Wild yeah. time. I still remember where I was. People came in. They're yeah. like, Kobe died. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Dude, somebody called yeah. me and was like, do you see there was a helicopter crash? Kobe's in it. I'm like, no, there's no way. That's yeah, got to be no. fake news. I thought it was fake. That's wild. It's got to be fake news. Yeah. It's tough. I mean. And I was like looking at my phone. I'm like, there's no way. Dude, I mean, like what he was <laughs> going to do. You were, uh, what you, he was going to do after basketball to me. That's oh, it was more set. Like, like with the WNBA and like he was women's the, basketball, he was going to set that He was He was up. done I mean, with men's basketball. Even, right. He was done with men's basketball. He was going to make Gianna the star of the WNBA. Right. And I think he was going to make the WNBA. He was going to double. <laughs> he was going to double the the viewership, I right. think. Yeah. Just based off him yeah. and his daughter. Yeah, I don't know. I think, a, he was, I think he was going to get those girls paid. Yeah. It's wild. Wild times. R.I.P. Mamba. Yeah. R.I.P. Mom. And everybody else that was involved, obviously. I don't want to leave them out. Anyway, that's it. We'll be back. Hey, next week's going to be lit. I can't wait Super for the Super Bowl, Bowl snacks. Snack. Oh, I think we're leading board. with the snacks, dude. Big board? Snack, One big through board. five, snack, dude. Big One board. through five. All right, guys. We'll be back next week. Uh, we're out.